welcome to the first training video from Sudoku.com. I'm Randy and I gotta admit I am hopelessly addicted. Uh, I play this all the time. We're gonna first start off with a game, a simple game here. We're gonna show some basic ways that I start off every puzzle to eliminate some of the squares and that's the the main thrust here. You've got to eliminate squares. Not so much find the squares that numbers go into, but eliminate the possible squares for other numbers. Just by way of introduction here, let's start off with some definitions. Each square of nine squares I call a block. So I'll be referring to that as a block. The nine squares within the block, those are squares. Uh, that's where a single number can go. So we're going to look at the grid. We're going to talk about the blocks that are in the upper left, upper right, center, top center, middle center, and, and so on. You'll, you'll see what I mean as we go along. First of all, I'm going to take the number one. We're just going to start off with one. Now here you can see that I've highlighted the row and the columns that the ones intersect. Now I'm not too worried right now with the other ones. We'll deal with that later. But right now I'm looking at one row and one column where they intersect in the bottom right block you'll see that there are two numbers or two squares I'm sorry that we can put a number in I can't finalize and just throw a one into one of those but I can put some notes so we're gonna put some notes into those two blocks that will take us to blocking out this whole column this whole column going up and the original column going up that we saw will give us two squares in the top right block and we can put notes in there. So we've got notes in, in the top right and the bottom right blocks for the number one, blocking out those two columns. As I said, I was going to show you the other one here. We're intersecting in the middle, in the center block here, and you can see that I've got four squares that I can put notes in, but I'm not going to do that. What I want to do is eliminate a single row or a single column. So we're looking for places to put notes in a single row or a single column. Here I can't do that so I'm going to skip it. Let's go on to the twos. Now I've highlighted all the twos here and highlighted all the rows and columns that they take in. Now if you look in the top right block you'll see one square that's available for a two. Now I can go ahead and finalize that and put a two in there. That pretty much takes care of the twos. There's nothing else that we can do. If you look, you'll see that there's no other block that has a single row or a single column for the twos. So let's move on to the three. Here's the threes highlighted here, and here are the highlighted rows and columns. Now if we look at all the blocks here, we'll see that up in the top center, there are two squares that I can put notes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put notes in there. Now I'm gonna stop. Uh, if you want to learn some more, go ahead and move on over to uh, sudoku.com and take a look at some of the more in-depth training uh, that I've got going on there. I've got uh, several posts and I'm going to be continuing as we go to uh, get deeper and deeper into more sophisticated and more advanced methods. But this will get you started, so head on over to sudoku.com and I'll see you there.